Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed test comparison here between the Huawei uh, Mate 9 phone on its official Android 7.0 and the Galaxy S7 Edge on official Android 7.0 uh, with TouchWiz on top to see uh, which manufacturer has uh, the faster kind of performance here. Uh, so I'll just quickly show you. Uh, we do have the, uh, the latest software on uh, both of them so in the settings you can see uh, which is nice and uh, we're just going to run through the in fact we're going to start up at the same time which some people do like to see see which one comes on first and then we're going to see if Sammy Boy can hold off the latest Huawei phone to fill in the gap between the Note 7. I'm guessing a lot of people did buy it. Oh, very fast boot up here again on the Mate 9 compared to the Edge. Well, the Edge wasn't too far behind for a 10 month old phone, uh, which is nice. And we're going to just put them side to side here and close everything down and let's uh, hang on let's just wait a second wait for the performance mode icon to come up make sure it's on uh, you know using the the performance uh, settings uh, and is it uh, coming up yes there it is uh, so let's uh, go That was the Mate 9. Very close. 2 nil, Mate 9. 3 nil. Sammy is slipping. 4 nil. Losing to the OnePlus and now the Mate 9. Oh. So nice and uh, snappy on both there. Uh, that was a Mate 9, 5 nil. This is a fast phone. Similar with that one. Uh, we do have as well some uh, stuff here, uh, such as the calendar. Again, to me, it seems that uh, the Mate 9 does very well when it comes to the basic uh, apps here. Uh, it's just the multitasking which it might fall over on. I mean, going into the game here is uh, looking a bit snappier on the left. And the modern combat. Again, loaded faster again. So this is a beast of a device when it comes to the performance, no doubt. Probably the fastest right on the market now. And if LG G6 only uses Snapdragon 821, it might not uh, be able to keep up with the Mate 9. I think the S7 Edge has uh, pulled one back here though with this game. You can see loading a little bit faster, which is nice. But it's only like about 6 or 7 1, something like that. Again, Mate 9 in here. And I think it has taken it. You know, I think it's taken the first round here, which uh, is what I was expecting. The similar kind of story is with the Mate 8 and the Note 5. Because we had like the Mate 8 come out with the Kirin 950, and that was very, you know, uh, next gen. This feels like exactly the same scenario here. Uh, so we're just going to check out the speed test of the uh, Wi-Fi 
usually Samsung doesn't let us down here. I'm going to start off. The great thing about the Mate 8 phone was that it was very affordable though. It launched for about 450 euro here. Uh, so we don't have that affordability anymore, unfortunately. But can we get a flagship uh, comparison here? Can uh, the Mate 9 destroy the S7 Edge on the Wi-Fi? S7 Edge has been quite tame actually with that score. Oh, it's going for it. Oh no, it can't quite reach it. You know, even on its off day, the S7 Edge is still the boss when it comes to the alien technology, the Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm gonna give it another go here for fairness. Mm. I did get a better score in the last video. But in this one, you can see, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's can't quite reach it. Can't quite reach it, unfortunately. Uh, which is, uh, you know, it's a shame for the latest uh, Kirin 960. But uh, we're just going to have a look at how that translates into day-to-day -day performance. So let's go to the BBC and go. Nice load there on the left. So uh, let's just uh, go to that. Quite similar with that one. Verge and go. Verge being optimistic again about the new BlackBerry phones. That's what we like to see. And I think we're getting a new 3310 as well, which uh, should be very interesting, revealed later or today. So the S7 Edge seemed to be a bit faster there responding, but it seemed to me it was just more the response of the actual screen. Let's just go into one more. Oh, my hand-eye coordination is not that good in this video. Let's just uh, go. I'm not seeing a massive difference here in terms of these two. You know, I'm seeing them to be quite comparable when it comes to the web browsing. But maybe the S7 Edge is actually loading things a bit faster. Uh, so I'm kind of leaning towards the S7 Edge here a little bit. Uh, so it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, we're just going to round off with a multitasking test. Both 4 gigs of RAM. And in the last video, the Mate 9 was all over the place. Well, it seems to have the... Uh... Why am I going so confused with these two? Seems to have settled down a bit until that one. Both of them reloaded it. Uh, so you can see it can actually uh, do some nice uh, multitasking. And uh, it's kept that one in memory as well. So not uh, as bad as I thought it was at first. I still don't 100% trust it though, like I would with the 3T when it comes to the memory. Let's try the games. This is the real decider. Oh, Mate 9 takes a point there. It uh, kept that one in memory. 
which is good. Another one. See, S7 Edge is uh, struggling here on the latest Android Nugget to keep up with the Mate 9, which kept them all in memory, pretty much. I don't think it responded then. don't think the screen is quite as responsive as the S7 Edge. Oh, it didn't keep this one in memory. So I think it could improve the memory management, but it's still better than what you're getting on Samsung TouchWiz, uh, which is nice at the end of the day. Uh, you know, uh, and that I think concludes the actual performance test here between these two on the latest software. Uh, what can we say? You know, we can say the uh, apps opening still very fast. Uh, it's similar to how it was with the 3T on the uh, Mate 9, absolutely beast. Uh, but the actual browsing and multitasking uh, was uh, a little bit more closer this time. But the thing that lets the S7 Edge down, I think, uh, is the uh, touch whiz a little bit in terms of the multitasking. So uh, it made the Mate 9 look good. Uh, but I think both of them could definitely improve in that aspect. Uh, I think the S7 Edge uh, overall still has a lot of things over the Mate 9, if we're going to be honest. Uh, not, not to mention, you know, the build quality. Some people do like the attractiveness of it, the waterproofing, uh, the AMOLED display, the 1.7 aperture camera, and uh, yeah, and TouchWiz at the end of the day. Some people really do, you know, enjoy uh, TouchWiz and all of its functionality. But uh, you can see that the gap is slowly narrowing here between Huawei's high-end phone and Samsung's high-end phone. I mean, this is very flagship worthy. Uh, I do wish it came at a more affordable price like the Mate 8 did because that felt like, uh, you know, really fantastic buy. But this one is a little bit more harder to justify when you consider OnePlus 3T, uh, when you consider, you know, the amount of options on the market. Uh, but uh, yeah, just a quick little comparison here. Hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.